Hello, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Life is Real. This is your girl, Stephanie Fluellen. Hope you enjoying yourself. If it'll be time to go to bed, my people, when you go to bed, pray. Please pray. Because there's a lot of toxic demons out here, my people. You need better bring God in your life. I'm telling you, I'm talking from experience. You better bring God in your life. So he can, he can help you fight them demons, my people. Real talk on life is real. I'm telling when you born in this world and, and you born into a toxic mom and dad plus family, if you ain't got your head on right, you're going to be fucked up out here. The devil going to have you. The devil going to take you. Real talk, my people. When you born in this world and your mom and dad abandon you, it gonna mess with you. Real talk, it gonna mess with you. Because I ain't seen more than one people go through this. I ain't seen my ex, my nephew, my my cousin them. Even though they mom was, you know, she kind of went the wrong way or whatever on drugs or whatever, but it affected them everything your mom and dad do and if they ain't got their head on straight it gonna mess them kids up my people that's why you can't have kids with everybody you meet because when people be born in this world if they mom and dad ain't right they gonna fuck they whole they they life is fucked up from the dope you hear me because they got mom problems they got dad problems real talk my people if they mom abandon them, if they mom lead them, but you got if you ain't got no strong head, the devil gonna overtake you. The devil will overtake you if you don't got if you don't have a strong head on your body, <laughs> a strong mind, mom. Huh? You gotta have a strong mind out here, and in, in, when you're born in the world, you gotta have a strong mind. Even if you're born in this world and your mom and dad, all they do is party and club and stuff and still ain't stun you, then somebody molest you. Oh my God, you see, that's a, you messed up. That's another child messed up and they gonna let the evil take over them. When we go through things in life and we not strong and want and, and, and try to do better for us, even though we see our mom and dad, it's not doing it, but we, if you strong in the mind, you know, you don't want that type of life and stuff, you'll, you'll, um, you'll go the right way. I'm telling you, when, when you born in this life and you find out your mom and dad don't want you, that's a hurt feeling. I don't, I don't fault none of my people. I fault the devil. We got to get on this devil ass. This devil is the one doing this, putting these thoughts in our head and our mind. I'm telling you, y'all better get on your knees and repent. Ask God to help you. When you know you got your family and your mom now ain't in a good situation, they, they talking even being toxic, you need to pray. You got to pray till you get up out of there and get on your own. Real talk, my people, it is real in the field. It is so real in the field. You born, even if you born in the world, say your mom and dad, they good. But you get molested by somebody. They gonna mess you up. Boy, everything we, when you come in this world, boy, when you come in this world, when you come in this world, Man, you got to pray when you come out the womb. You hear me? You got to pray when you come out the womb because the devil going to get you. The devil going to get you any kind of way he can because he jealous of everybody that come in this world, my people. The devil is jealous of everybody who come in this world. He going to try to destroy you, kill, steal, and destroy you so you won't be with God, my people. You got to wake up to what's going on in this world. Everybody got a, a, a round naughties. Everybody's surrounded by naughties. Naughties, naughties in your family, naughties in your friends, family, naughties everywhere, my people. The devil is everywhere. He's using all these weak-minded people. 
You hear me? And the night is mad because his mind ain't strong as mine. Uh-huh. And he jealous. Been jealous of me the whole time, my people. I'm telling you, that's sad when you with somebody and they jealous of you. You don't, that mean, you, that lets you know that you, that person wasn't for you. But we don't want God, like I said in my other videos, we don't never want God to find our mate. We go find our mate on our own and those don't be the right mates we find. That's why we go through so much mess in this world. Even if you be born in this world and your mom good, but your dad is absent, that mess with a child too. You hear me? It's so much that mess with a per with, with us as kids and humans that you got to call on your father from heaven. If you missing a dad, call on your father. You missing a mother, call on your father. Your sister now don't like you, your family, whoever, you got to call on God. God is the backbone of every for everybody. God is the backbone for everybody in every situation. But the devil don't want you to know that because the devil don't want you to go to God. You know, the devil got kicked out of heaven, my people. You better not let him. He keep fooling us. He keep manipulating us. He keep putting toxic thoughts in our minds and stuff, my people. It is real in the field. It is so real in the field. You born in this world, say that your mom and dad are straight. Both of them good, you know what I'm saying? Say, say both of them good, but you run up on a toxic man or woman and they abuse you and hurt you and all this. Man, it, it, it's, a, it's whatever you go through in this world and you ain't got God on your side. Ever since you were a little bitty baby, you gonna go through something. Real talk, my people, but I ain't want to just come in and tell you, my people. We need God in our life. Y'all think we don't need God, but we need God in our life. We need God in our life. So he could help us, keep us, teach us how these humans are, how the devil use his use people, how the devil use his his people he got on his side to come in and, and hurt us. Real talk, my people. I had a knowledge in my life, and I was in that relationship for 22 years. Gave him so many chances, my people. You hear me? I gave him so many chances, but God finna bless me so much. You hear me? Because I tried to help that knowledge. I tried to be there for that knowledge. I tried to turn that knowledge of life around, but he still choose the devil side. So if you got somebody in your life and they still choose to go with the devil, you got to let them go. Let him go. Let him go. He got to find his own way. He got to get on his knees and repent every day. He got to pray every day. He got to pray them demons out of him. I'm telling them not is if they can't get to you, they're going to go through the cheer to get to you. Because you know the cheer is going to come back and tell you something. You hear me? I'm telling you, that that is not what he's doing. He putting all his burden on the children. He that means he still don't get. He still ain't learned his lesson. He still don't give a care. Cause he put his burden. He got to put his burden on somebody, and he now he want to put his burden on his two girls. <laughs> Instead of just asking them how they doing, what you doing, what you doing in your life, I want them uh, do better so I could be there for you. Don't put all that stuff what your mom and the dad went through on the kids. You don't do that. You you try to be there for your child and, and, and ask about her. You don't call a child and, and talk about what, what your mom and the dad went through. I'm telling you, my people, you better get them knives out your life because they only going to keep you in the past because they can't let go of the past. When you do wrong in your past, it going to torture you. You hear me? Real talk, my people. It is spiritual out here. You better bring God in your life. You better repent. I'm telling you, I'm talking from experience, my people. The naughty is 
out to kill, steal, and destroy you because they work for the devil. And, and, and they don't have control over their mind. That's why the devil could use them. You hear me? The devil used naughties because they are weak-minded. They have a disorder. The, the devil used the naughties because they being abandoned or they being abused, you know, and then if you can't overcome what you've been through in your life, the devil going to get you. The devil going to take over your mind, my people. Real talk on life is real. Uh -huh. Real talk on life is real. Hit that like and subscribe button, my people. I'm telling you, I be talking that good shit. People be unsubscribed because they don't want to hear it. I'm telling you, people do not want to hear the truth. I'm telling you, I need real angels on my channel. Real people, they really want help on my channel. I don't need these fake naughties on my channel. If you fake, get off my channel. Unsubscribe and, and deuces. You hear me? Uh-huh. I'm telling my people, when you go through stuff in life, if you're not strong, the devil going to take you. When you go through things in life, you're getting abused, you're getting beat up, you're getting this and that and that. Then you go to drugs trying to cover it up. You be an alcoholic trying to cover it up. Then the devil goes. That's why the devil gets you. Because the devil use things that we do in this world to get control over us, my people. Uh-huh. I'm going to leave with that. Think about it. I love y'all. I'll see y'all on my next episode. Do so.